In this video, we will be examining more complicated problems involving vertical and horizontal parabolas. We're going to be asked to write the equation when given a description of some of the locations of the parts. In this first example, we are told we have a vertex for a parabola. We don't know if it's horizontal and we don't know if it's vertical at 0, 1 and a focus at 0, 4. So my advice is determine whether it's horizontal or vertical first. And I do that by just sketching a brief picture of what the graph would look like. So at 0, 1, I have my vertex. And at 0, 4, I have my focus. Well, this tells me that I am dealing with a vertical parabola. Now, there are two ways you can go from here. One is using the formulas. The other is using the concepts. And I'm going to show you both in this technique. As always, I prefer to use the concepts rather than the formulas. What you would do is you would look at your formulas for the vertical parabola. And that formula tells you the location of your vertex is represented by h, k. And it tells you the location of the focus is represented by h, comma, k plus 1 over 4, a. So the formula approach has you label the coordinates based off of what the formulas are. What that allows you to do is to see that h is 0 k is 1. And now what you need to do is you need to find what your a value is. I'm dealing with a vertical parabola. So that means y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. So I know h, I know k, I need a. The way you find a is using the focus, the y value of the focus. You know 4 equals k plus 1 over 4a. Well, we know k is 1, so 4 equals 1 plus 1 over 4a. So we have 3 equals 1 over 4a. If we were to solve this, you multiply by 4a, so you get 12a equals 1. Divide by 12a is 1 12. So now I have all of my values. I can see that y equals my a is 1 12 times the quantity. Now it's x minus 0 squared plus 1. But subtracting 0 doesn't do anything. So we can just ignore that and write y equals 1 12 x squared plus 1. This is the approach that is using the formulas. To me, it's easy to use the formulas to find your vertex, but to find the a value, it's a little abstract. It's a little complicated. So what I do is I use the concepts. And the concepts tells me, if I look at this graph just like before, I can see vertical, which allows me to know what my form looks like, and that I need my a, h, and k. Your vertex is h, k, so that is easy. I use the concept to find my a value. The way I do that is by knowing the distance from the vertex to the focus is always 1 over 4a units. So then I can count 1, 2, 3. And I see 3 equals 1 over 4a. And you can see I jump right to this step in my equation. And I can get my a very quickly without having to deal with this k plus 1 over 4a and plugging things in for it. I can learn this concept that the distance from the vertex to the focus is 1 over 4a, count to get that number, and then solve to get my answer. So I'm going to try and use that concept approach in number 2. It's a little bit different in number 2. You have a focus at 2, 4 and a directrix at x equals 10. So again, just do a brief sketch just to help you determine is it a horizontal or a vertical parabola. So the focus 
is located at 2, 4. So that is my focus. The directrix is located at x equals 10. So this is 2. We have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And so here is my equation for my directrix. So looking at this, it tells me, well, if you always open towards your focus, it's a horizontal parabola. And it's opening to the left. So that tells me A is negative. So horizontal parabola standard form is X equals A times the quantity Y minus K squared plus H. Well, we need our H and our K. So the question is, how does the vertex relate to the focus and the directrix? Well, if you think about it, you go one over four units to the left and one over four units to the right. So the vertex is the middle of the focus and the directrix. It's located in the middle. So what's the middle of two and 10? And that would be six. So two, four, six. There is my vertex. My vertex is the midpoint or the middle of the focus of the directrix. So this is the coordinate 6, 4. That gives me my h and my k. So I know right now x equals, I don't know a, but I know it's y minus 4 squared plus 6. How do I find a? Now, I don't use the formulas. I don't like using the formulas for it. And you can. I show that in example one. I believe in concepts. The distance from your vertex to your focus is 1 over 4a units. Always. So I can just count from 6 to 2. That is 4. And it's in the left direction, so that means negative. That's what's important to know. If it opens to the left, your a should be negative. So I know negative 4 equals 1 over 4a. So negative 16a equals 1. a is negative 1 16th. And so I just fill that in the formula. It's so much quicker and so much easier to do than actually using the formulas themselves. You just learn the concept for the distance from the vertex to the focus and vertex to the directrix. So let's do our last example, number three. We're told here our vertex is 1, 8, and our directrix is y equals 3. So again, just sketch a little picture. I don't care about accuracy for it, just so we can see what it looks like, if it's vertical or horizontal. So 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 8, and there is my vertex y equals 3, 1, 2, 3, and so here is my directrix. Well, this would be opening upwards away from the directrix, so that tells me it is a vertical parabola. It's opening up, which means A is positive. So the equation is y equals A times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. Well, I know what h and k are because I'm given my vertex. h is 1 and k is 8. So I have y equals x minus 1 squared, and I have plus 8. I now need to know a. Well, the distance from your vertex to your directrix is 1 over 4a. So I'm at 8. I'm going down to three, so that's five units. So I just solve one over four a equals five, one equals 20 a, solve divide by 20, a is 1 20th. And I just fill that in. And I know it's positive because the graph is opening up. And there is my equation for the parabola. Bottom line, I don't like to use the formulas. I find it more complicated and easier to make mistakes. It's as simple as cross multiplication to solve to get A if you use the concept of the distance from the vertex to the focus and vertex to directrix being 1 over 4A. If you wanted to use the formulas for this example, 
what you would have to do is know the equation of the directrix for a vertical parabola is y equals k minus 1 over 4a. And so we know 3 equals our k value, which is 8 minus 1 over 4a. You would subtract 8, negative 5 equals negative 1 over 4a. Negative 20 equals negative, negative 20a equals negative 1. And then divide a is 1 20th. It is more complicated. It looks worse to even solve than a basic problem like this. My advice, learn the concepts and just set up the problem from there.